All right, guys, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. I'm going to be taking on another side quest today, and it's to try to give V a little more luck in his pursuit of his romance with Pan Am. So we've come to take on her next side job, and V is hoping he gets a little side job of his own. It's it's hopeful at best. I thought I would show you the character that I've, I've just upgraded after the last mission. The uh, It was quite an epic story mission. If you didn't watch it, go back and check it out. But I have now acquired Johnny's vest, Johnny's tank top, which is 89 armor all by itself, uh, and an pretty impressive bulletproof Aramid vest from the Arasaka polycarbonate range. Uh, so looking pretty good, I think. We are beginning to look a lot like Darth Vader's stunt double. So this is the mission. It's called With a Little Help From My Friends. You may well know that phrase, popularized by the Beatles. Um, but here is Pan Am. We've come to talk to her, Mitch and Saul. Every half hour, reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? V, or you're here. I'm here. I came as soon as I could, <laughs> which is a complete I lie. I from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm... really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Rotting up the job? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. <laughs> this discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. He's a complete tool, isn't he, Saul? I, I don't know if I did the right thing there. There he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection. Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. So what is this basilisk anyway? What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is it worth a fight with Saul? Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Okay, this is good. We have, we have numbers. Safety in numbers. So what is his problem with doing it? Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Alright, what's this plan? You plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. <laughs> that sounded like an offer of help to me. Okay. Uh, can I can what I have this want? money, please? Thank you. If you leave it lying around. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk v? someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Okay, I'm just here to follow, but isn't this nice? Little community, round a campfire. Did you try to Someone playing guitar board? badly. No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? There's a Fuck burger you. hovering in the air. The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. 
Questions? Comments? Motions? Yeah, I've got a comment. Um, nice job, sunshine. Looks like I've got a comment I can say uh, Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, but Pan Am's got a beef burger floating in front of her face. I'm in. I'm convinced, Pan Am. It's the way you look at me. Okay, I'm in. Hmm. Okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? You see these guys looking at me like, simp, simp. Oh uh, yeah, I'm riding with you. Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. How else am I going to continue my pursuit? And in fact, Ugh. it's something I didn't mention in the last episode, the last mission with her, when voice. we were inside that house. The relic's playing up here, but Come when on, we're inside that house, and, um... I kind of came onto her in the house and I just like ran my hand up her thigh. I just thought it was a little bit creepy. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting in. Yeah, it just seems a little bit over the top. Okay, she's not saying anything. I don't know if I if I upset her. Did I go too far? <laughs> or not far enough? Oh, okay. We had to go in convoy. No one at camp is going to notice you gone. going to notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Okay, her voice has dropped into like an over-the-phone uh, interference pattern. It's not good. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. Posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Okay, let's skip it. Oh no, okay, well, I'll ask my question. Night City, don't miss your life there at all. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning, of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time too when I left the family. Had a hard time leaving my family too. It was never completely alone either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. Oh yeah. You would have liked him actually. Jackie. I remember that. Jackie, you'll remember that. Oh, okay. Right. All right. So here we are. Some of these vehicles look so damn good. I mean, they are so well designed. It's like the Mad Max style in Cyberpunk. Don't, doesn't that doesn't that one look awesome? Oh, that is a stunning car. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we okay. ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. The Always ready. The convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? None whatsoever, but I'll ask some anyway. Abandoned stations seem to be a lot. There seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They use it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years, since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear, like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Let's do it. So, yeah, Basilisk. Basilisk, wasn't that a legendary giant snake or something? I guess it makes sense if it's a train. Find the entrance to the control tower. It says talk to the nomads as an optional... Even if we pull it off. Yeah, let's talk. Pissed. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Be 
Yep, doing it now. Open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor is damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. I love the. I love some of the graffiti in this game. It just comes out of nowhere. Hey, totally unexpected. What works. incredible, incredible artwork. Hey, Thanks eat your brain, you. and then the final punchline. <laughs> okay, that worked. Well, we got the uh, old scan. The generator was optional. Talk to more nomads. I could do. So I'm gonna try. What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. Well, Teddy is just being dead weight. Okay, uh, look. Uh, happy to join in you in your quest. Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Once you have both, you have real power. Okay, um, you two have fun then. Have fun, kids. Okay, I'm going to speak to one more over here. Maybe this will be the last Hello one. There. She kind of reminds me of, uh, what is it, Kira from Mandalorian? Um, got a use for me? Not particularly. <laughs> you don't really know why you're here, do you? Um, Pan Am asked for help, absolutely. Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? I see. I think I see what's happening here. Pan Am doesn't just want my help. She, no, doesn't need my help. She wants it. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Okay. Well, I kind of... Hang on. What about this? Huh, that was quick. Yep. That's how I do things. What was that? America, a prophecy. The terror answered, I am orc, wreathed around the cursed tree. His knees and thighs like silver, and his breast and head like gold. Yeah, whatever. I have no idea what is going on. Mitch and Bob are already connected. Got a little help from yours truly. Yep, yeah, yours truly. I hate it when people refer to themselves like that. It is a little arrogant, isn't it? Always been fond of trains and the stations where so many tracks converge huh. junctions yes those when you see them from above you feel free like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once perhaps more simply hopeful wow okay what is this these okay, two giant coils are. Okay. Should be fairly straightforward. Um, we've got a few hack points. This. Uh, oh, here we go. Hmm. Is that it? Oh, it is. <laughs> First try. Okay, let's just uh, grab everything else that's in here. Oh, so are they people leave their money lying around in this game. Yeah, I've got it, Pan Am. I'm just. I'm just looting. Bear with me. Yeah, more money, more cash. Here you go. All right, I found it. Got something. Good job. Okay. Well, V, the card in the reader. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I heard her as well. Here goes nothing. It worked. Come look. What? What did it do? I wasn't looking at the time. Little engine that could. 
Oh yes, there we go. Ural Combinat. V, I wanted to speak with you. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. So I've got the option to say I missed you. You starting to have doubts? Or what do you want to talk about? Or well, seemed happier than is, here is than you did in time? town. Ooh, what do you want to... Uh, yeah, I missed you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. Okay, so let's start. No time like the present. Okay. Go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V, I believe I know where this is going. And not to your liking? No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Okay, we can skip the tiptoeing. Okay, but let's skip the tiptoeing. Where are we now? I would not want to cock this up. I see. Uh, you gotta. St I guess you gotta start somewhere. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh huh. Noticed. I know, but I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Oh, here we go. So why is it different with me? Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I can touch the hand. Uh, next time, try following the impulse. Try following the impulse next time. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Oh well, that's positive, V. There is still hope. I mean, it was, it was, uh, that was definitely a I don't want to screw this up kind of conversation. So that's why I've been knocking you back. <laughs> what is this? How strange. Scattered documents has given us a uh, a crafting blueprint, I think. All right, we'll join the fellows around the old campfire. V oh, we got a message from Saul. Do I know where Pan Am is? N nope, not a clue. Don't like the guy. God damn it, she's never in camp when you need her. When you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah, sure, mate. Sure, mate. I'm not a big fan of that guy. I think V's about to head here. Yeah, here she comes. Okay. It says join them at the junction. Is this the Get junction? Your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait, then. Oh, this is chill. Quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. Well, we've got a whole load of songs to listen to. Did she say the car could use a once over or something? Oh, right, okay. We have skipped forward quite some time. The stars have emerged. We've got a few hours till dawn. You're That's acting spooky. If you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul, ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. She's worried. Ah, the guy's a loser know. anyway. New Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. 
Okay, so what do we got here? Can uh, Snake Nation Saul was right? Um, let's drink to Scorpion. Don't talk about the war much. Snake Nation Saul was right. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like, like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs to get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Okay, well, let's drink to Scorpion. I'll raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Oh, my vision's about to go blurry again. Whoa, what happened to you? <laughs> oh, and to Jackie. Oh, that was nice of her. See, she said she'd remember. So I'm gonna try and get some shut eye. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Oh, here we go. We've got a scooch moment. Scooch closer. It's gotten kind of cold. Growing kind of cold out here. Oh, in front of all our mates. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I mean, he's, he's very forward. I'll just lie here a while. By your side. Gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. Yeah, I just noticed. You see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's some major leak. <laughs> Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, B. So a night under the stars with Pan Am. But we are off on mission. What do we have to do? Get in a position and wait for the nomads. It's getting tense. All right. She's moving. Get her up to speed. Oh, I see. We've got to follow the... Ural Combinat. The Basilisk. Is this the is that what the Basilisk is? I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Hey, no coming and hauling. Take out that couple. Easy now. Right. Uh which one? The back one? We're getting close. This is so can't hit it. it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, this is a much better view. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. Okay, we have drones. One drone now. Two drones are done. Perfect. Oh, here they are. Totally blocked. Yep. Job done. Consider it done, I should say. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh. What the hell? Why have I only got... Now, why have I now got... A weapon missing? Hold on a second. I couldn't do this before. It kept on saying action blocked or something. So let me uh, let me equip uh, one of my shotguns. Yeah, this one will do. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't do it before. He's done. Well, he will be. If I can just reload in time. I've only got 18 shotgun rounds left. Doing pretty poor. I used up so much ammo on the last mission. Alright, he's done. I'm going to need to stock up before we take on anything else. One more. Beautifully done. Who's left? Oh, hello. Mitch, Bob, go! All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Yeah, we better move, but let me just grab everything I can first. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. How cool is that? What the hell is it? Anyway, on the back of that truck... Does that thing fly? Look at it. Fuck! It worked! Look at two giant tanks. Just as I said it would. The Aldecaldos are victorious. She's happy. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunger junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Okay. I just lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing if you ask me. I can talk to him if he wants. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Okay, this is it. Showdown with Saul once again. It says meet with Saul, but where were where? Oh, here he is. Fuck, Pan Am. So it begins. But look what we got. You miserable sod. of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. That was a yes. He's such an Bob, ass. Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. <laughs> Seems to still be in fine working order. Seems like the family's on your side. This is true. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. They had them from the start. We'll see. Okay, so you need me? Oh, hang on, everything okay? Everything okay? Yes, of course. 
<laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. <laughs> okay, give me a call next time you want to hook up. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Excellent. With a little help from my friends. Mission is done. Now, what I want to do next, because she will call again. That isn't the final mission, I'm sure. Even though nothing worked out. We've got signs. We've got hope. What I want to do is travel to this location. Because I am on the hunt for some mantis blades. Now, I, I have wanted some mantis blades since I ever saw the, uh, first saw them in the in the trailers and the, the the preview clips and they cost a lot of money you can go to a ripper dock and get them installed but this apparently is a way of getting them for free but it isn't without danger now I need to make sure I go to the right spot okay I think I found it so here I am. Let me get my exact location for you. What can I see? Uh, okay, let me just show you the map precisely. I am stood right here on this junction. Okay. Now if you then look left, I believe this is the alleyway we're looking for. There is a side quest. And as soon as I walk down, guess who phones me? A little bit ago, a tiger claw called for help, attacked by a certain Aki. At least that's what they call the rogue tiger hunter. He's been picking off his own in silent but spectacular fashion. My gut says this Aki had a cyberpsychotic break, but I'd like to know for sure. Don't kill him if you don't have to, and don't forget to watch your back. So, the reason I'm here are for legendary Mantis Blades. And I think that's the guy. I think that's our cyber psycho. Yeah. You see how much higher level he is than me? But I'm told if I'm very careful. Oh no. Okay. Yep. If I'm very careful, apparently, I can sneak in here and steal them. Got him. I need to go to Ripper Dock to, to actually attach them, so we'll do that in a second. I've just done a quick save. So what do you reckon? This is the guy. Yeah, and he is very powerful. Yep, totally, totally killed me. <laughs> Completely killed me. My god, that guy is fast and furious. Right, let's forget that. Let's load the quick save. I couldn't care less. I'm going. Right, now we have... It's so cool. We've got these blades. We just need to find the nearest doctors to get them screwed in. Yeah, right, nearest one is over here. Let's get there as quickly as we can. Right. How do we get in? Nice. Doctor, doctor. Fix me up. Looking to get a fresh piece of chrome. Sure thing. What you after? Oh, I just want you to fit something I've just found. Oh, yes. Legendary mantis blades. <laughs> Look at this. They allow you to slice and dice your enemies with swift, deadly slashes. Can you believe it? And by the way, you can pick this up for free, just like I have, uh, at the beginning of the game, and it's job done. Now all I need to learn is how to use them. Not a problem. Run, oh run. my god. No <laughs> way. Oh yes. Oh wow, actually I'm getting I'm taking a bit of damage here. Would you check out my new tools? Yep, you're regretting your choices in life. I should think so. Okay, who's next? That was 
shotgun to the face. I really need better armor, but I think we're done. The job is over. My life is renewed. Well, they're good. But <laughs> this guy. Are you not you're not quite dead yet, are you? You are now. Oh, look at that. He's spewing his robotic blood all over the wall. Dirty boy. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, we, we made a little progress there with Pan Am, so perhaps the next mission that we share with her, V will finally get what he's been seeking so desperately. And it is signs of desperation. But he's trying, you know. He's very trying, isn't he? Guys, thanks all the best. I will see you in the next part. Take care and good night.